this close to getting a big promotion with my own office. I'll be right there, Mr. Harkin. Then, all the endless hours and the sacrifice and the shit eating will have been worth it. See, this is what concerns me, Nick. You're a punctual guy. You know the importance of being here right at 6 a.m., which is what leads me to think that there must be something wrong with the internal clock on our security system. May have been a minute late. Well, no, but according to this, you were two minutes late. So either you're a liar or this system is off by a full minute. The only hitch? I work for this guy, David Harkin, who right now is giving me some fresh shit for being two minutes late. He's a total fucking asshole. And if that's the case, then I'm going to have to fire Thomas, our longtime security coordinator. It may have been two minutes late. Oh, well, then you were lying. No, I, who are you calling? Thomas, I yeah. gotta let him go. No, I, I was lying, sorry. You were lying? Yeah, I didn't mean to. It was more of a saying, you know. Might have been a minute late. Literally, uh, truthfully, was two minutes late. Boy, I have to get used to driving with this big, heavy ring on my finger. I keep swerving to the left, babe. When I was a kid, people would ask me what I wanted to be when I grew up. And I always gave the same answer. I love you so much. I love you too. I wanted to be a husband. I will call you when I'm done. Hey, have a good day. I know that sounds weird. Most boys want to be firehouse chiefs or personal trainers, but to me, being a husband was like the highest calling. And thanks to Stacy, that dream's about to come true. Unfortunately, no one's gonna pay you to be a husband unless you marry Oprah. So I had to find a job. Now, I always admired dentists. They're smart, they're capable, they keep your teeth healthy. So I went out and I became one. How are you today, Dale? I'm fine, thanks. Excavator? Okay, I became a dental assistant. Excavator. It's basically the same thing, I just make a lot less hey, money. Did you ever see that show Gossip Girl? No. Mm. I watched an episode last night. I fingered myself so hard to that Penn Badgley guy, I broke a nail. And it would have been the perfect job, if not for one evil, crazy bitch, DDS. I bet you're no shrimp in the cock department, huh, there, Dale? OK, Julia, come on. What? I don't feel comfortable talking about that. Oh, Dale, come on. You know that I like to fool around. Oops. Mr. Anderton, oh. not in the office. This is bad, 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 bad. Probably shouldn't have hit the